Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Otto. Uh, we are back in our campaign of um, Path and the Wrath of the Righteous. Last time we were doing some quests in Winterfell, and now we are moving back to Dresden. Yay! Let's travel there, because there are some things we have to do. Yep. Okay, let's move the troops. You are here. And you, my friend, are here. Let's move there. Let's kill this level 5 demon army. We are level 6, that totally an enemy army has reached you and now... No, oh, we have reached the army. Let's see. Dredges, cultist fields, and shears. I think we can do some spells. Moving there. And you're moving there. Yep, there it is. I, I thought so. A stinking cloud or something. Nothing really nice. But he will die for it. Die, die. Sweet. Oh, come on, don't kill the paladins. First of all, let's say we cure wounds here. Ah, uh, you can do another one. these guys
and 21. Let's kill these guys. Um, get rid of the dredge. Yay, and we lost no one. You're so great. Mm -hmm. Hey, and we get a level. Oh, uh, Samus. Student error gains 10% more experience points and an additional feat of Inspiration 1, all units in the army have a plus 50. Well, can never off this feat. Hmm. Intimidation. <laughs> all enemy units have a minus 15 to extend infirmary. Infirmary size increases by the level of this. Ah, oh, this is. More people can die if we can get back to life. Okay, so where do we go? Here. Mm -hmm. Now, you, where are you going? Where did I want to go? Yeah, so that was seven in this. Just go whatever. And there is grim wood. Level eight demon army. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sacred lands. Okay, we can't go there. Let's move back. Let's continue to uh, uh, of course random encounter. sure if I like random encounters. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. And I'm rather pissed off because of that. 
stupid idiot. Uh, okay. I see. On whom? On the mesh giant. Let's try it there. This way, I have uh, put speak with him that one. Okay, we have uh, no, not remove fear, we have uh, magic nullify. Does it work? The mythic powers can negate any magic around you. Benefit activating disability grants you magic immunity and dispel any spells. Spell if you. Uh, can't we just say. Hmm. Of curse, resist energy. Um, how can we remove this? Oh, let's make a prayer so everyone get at the saving throw. Great boar. Okay, let's kill the soup first. She will be killed easiest. Okay, next. Um, stinking cloud. Interesting, but let's put on the pig um pig do you still have the greater magic thing no so let's do this Okay, from evil. Pick mm -hmm. about you. Try to kill the devastate. That's it. Land, yay. Yeah. Okay, next. Um, how about we do 
this on the ash giant. Pretty good. Good work. <gasps> oh my god. Hey, you. You're great. First time this worked. <laughs> Such a nice spell. Ah, oh, what did I do? Let's do the acid more. And you, let's do this. Just, I didn't do this. Uh, pig. Red jelly. No, of course not. Still in the really a one. You rolled a one, Darren. Have a dispel, no. <laughs> You've got a confusion. The, the thing is probably immune to confusion. Um, Let's do more damage. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Darren, for doing a critical hit with, with two points of damage. Nice. Really dead. Come on, kill it. Thank you. Thank you. Things. Can we just be still moving away? Ugh. This wasn't nice. Let's collect all. <clears throat> mm -hmm. We probably will take this next time. No, we don't want to. No, we don't want to manage this. We want to improve as a Let's move into and do the management because they'll be around asking me stuff like how do you like your birthday cake like this Mm 
als das random super demon who doesn't let anyone know what he's probably it's, that's because demons don't plan mm -hmm. today Erebeth looks unusually lively her eyes are shining again which you haven't seen since the battle for the Lord Captain. Saluting you, she stands at attention. Commander, forgive me for bothering you with a personal matter, but... Okay. I just wanted to say how grateful I am to you during the attack on Dread. I did not exactly cover myself in glory. You had every reason to throw me out of the army and to send me. Yet, you support me. You helped me regain my footing and continue to fight. You will not regret this decision. I swear, I will never again let the crusader, neither by my actions nor by my words, nor by my thoughts. I will be loyal to the crusade to the end. <sighs> mm -hmm. I expect no less from you. Thank you for believing in me. Even when I didn't myself. I have conquered my inner demons. Now I can go back to fight the real kind. Ah, this was the spirit. And I thought I had to do something about her. Captain Harmaton. Hail, Commander. Permission to report. Although desertion has been halted, not everyone appreciated your methods. A circle of discontents formed within the officers' rank, calling themselves the Vale. There are no blatant signs of sedition, otherwise they would have been arrested. Still, their talk is concerning. We can't rely on them. We need our own trusted officers. I suggest lifting some of the volunteers. We get some very capable fighters. Fresh blood every day. The kind that could be made sergeant straight away. Could this be? We need those who know the meaning of honor. We'll call paladins and knights from reputable orders and they'll serve as an example to our soldiers, boosting everyone's morale too. Officers who are unworthy of their rank can always be replaced. We can identify experienced sergeants with reliable records of results then promote them. This seems sound. <laughs> Mendiff is full of promising youths who were overlooked when their seniors were promoted to serve in your army. We can call them here, award them rank, and they'll be grateful to us until the end of their days. Uh, why exactly are these warriors? We raised the private's pay and gave them enhanced rations with results. Unfortunately, some of the officers felt themselves deprived of these benefits. They are now spreading dangerous ideas. So they were expecting bribes, the opportunists. I did warn you, elites always take offense when and the factions of the authorities are directed. And one more thing, I apologize in the um, this. Uh, if this sounds disrespectful, but these are sentiments within the ranks. For an entire century, the Queen was the face of the Crusade. Even though she personally appointed you as commander, many still consider you an upstart, unworthy of the high title. Many officers and soldiers dream of Her Majesty's Um What does all this do? All generals gain plus one level on the striving for this. What what is the striving for distinction? General has a plus ten percent bonus 
to gain experience and spare level of this feat. Hmm. More experience. All generals get bias. Memory size increases by 10%. Ooh, that's nice as well. Darren, call your bright youths master of maneuver. What does it do? Increase maximum size of the army by one unit per level of this feat. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. What does this do? Heroic officers. You need to have a plus five bonus to combat. Uh, Ooh, hmm. This is really hard. I really liked Rachel's best. This one is much better. Also, Sivas is better than Red. So I'm pretty sure about that. Hmm. On the other hand, let's take this. <laughs> so, already have the list prepared. I can present it so that those who have exalt can be fairly rewarded for their performance. I hope that these measures will solve the issue at hand. If we have further complications, I will call on your council at once. Okay. There will be more complications, I'm pretty sure about that. Hey, is this menu? Probably. No, Lady Colombo. Commander, the capital needs you to rise the There has been a major scandal. The nation of Andoran, uh, okay, what? The nation of Andoran? Our diplomatic partner has sent its army to help the crews. That would probably. However, this apparently generous gesture is nothing more than political provocation. Why? The Andorans want to prevent the emerging rapprochement between Mendev and Cheliax, of which I have previously informed you. They have deliberately, deliberately sent their army to our territory without seeking Nerosian's approval. If Mendev accepts help, it will cool our relation with Isga and their sovereign Chediax. Royal Council command that is to say expects you to reject Andoran aid. Direct them toward Her Majesty's aid. They are welcome to negotiate with the Unfortunately we can't disregard the decision made by Her Majesty's Council. So they are pauses and suddenly gives you a sly smile. Those endurance didn't come here empty handed. They brought weapons lives. Let them bear those with us. Erosian forbids them from joining our army. Hmm. Come now, Lady Konomi. All this suspicion. I am sure that the endurance are driven by nothing more than the benevolence and concern for our collective future. We simply must accept them, like if. Uh, we should send Lawrence back home instead to, of to Rosian, and declare as loudly as possible that we disapprove of their underhanded methods. Otherwise, our capitalist diplomat will see it as an opportunity to strike a few deals and sweep the whole scandal under the rug. And that's not right. Wild deeds should be used. Okay, um, I'm not sure which one I like most in this. Probably the first or second. Oh, you have also something to say. If the whole deal is about M being endurance, they should just stop being them, take down the banners, call themselves mercenaries. Problem solved. This is a good thing. What's the gist of the 
geopolitical conflict. There is a protectorate of Janiax and Andorran, and Janiax have, have a long history of feuds. For the Andorans, the highest values of freedom and equality for the Janiaxians, it's an oil hierarchy. It's as if the two countries were made to be at war. The fact that they are both allied with Mendev doesn't stop them from setting scores at any opportunity. For the time being, the Russian considers it more advantageous to cooperate with Igorian, the capital of no one is cutting ties with Andorran, no. It's just that the relations have pulled somewhat. It's a common occurrence in the politics of Nicaragua. That is why Norosian insisted on you inviting Iska, Eliax's protectorate. When you accepted the their forces, the Andorans resorted to provocation. Either Norosian receives their help, incurring Egorian's discontent, or it risks it. The Royal Council choose, chose the row. Uh, what's Wolchiv doing on this council? I doubt he knows anything about politics and diplomacy. But I like Wolchiv's uh, best. Okay, what does this mean? At six, oh, wait. Wait, Social tell the Andorans we will accept their weapons and supplies, but not the soldiers. We get finance point. The Andorran equipment fee. The Andorran equipment gives them points to maximum heat points. Hmm. Sounds okay. Darren, we will accept the Dora's help. <sighs> Twenty-eight hedge knights are recruited. Looking excellent. What's this plus weapons? Then forty five ranges. <sighs> A ranged unit capable of defending themselves in the combat are recruited. Mm, that's good. Also, the, um, these people get. Hmm, an opponent damaged by this unit makes a fortitude saving throw. Failing at the salt saving throw applies a minus two penalty to AC and all saving throws. Hmm, not fine. Old Jeff, how about this? Hatch Knights and attracted by fame. Hmm, I'm too tired. I will do this choice now and then go to bed. Uh, what is this? I will act according to your things, booms. Get Corusius, champions, and marksmen. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, then Sparksman, these are the most troops we have. Mm, no, I don't want this. This is also good. 45 Rangers are really good, and this Gary training seems interesting. 
let's take man screen. Commander, you have already demonstrated your defiance of the Royal Council. Do not cross the line that separates defiance from an open attack on Mandiv's interests. The Royal Council will not forgive you for it. Is that a threat? But uh, we, we refuse them anyway, so... Is that a threat? Merely a warning. Your actions, on the other hand, are indeed threatening to Mendev. Her Majesty has entrusted her kingdom to the Royal Council. It is their duty to oppose those who hurt the interests by turning them against you. You leave them no choice but to start hurting you. Mm-hmm. Let's see if there are still nations in Avistan who conduct their political honesty. If there are, our decisions won't go unnoticed, and hopefully Andorin will learn its lesson. <laughs> okay, something more, I fear. No. Okay, I will do the crusade management in between the episodes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you didn't fall into sleep like me. See you next time soon. Bye.